Hello guys, welcome back to Rivals Daily. I'm your host, Jack in the Middle. Okay, um, so just before we get started, I would like to invite you, if you're new to the channel, to please go ahead and subscribe. And I would also encourage you that if you like live streams, please click the description. There will be a link there for my live stream exclusive channel. Um, I do live streams separately on a different channel at Jack in the Middle Live. Okay, um, so here at Rivals Daily, we are trying to figure out how to make the most of racing rivals on a daily basis, pretty much. Um, they have changed a lot of the rewards. They have changed the rewards for turf. They have changed the rewards for showdown. You know, and I don't want to talk bad about them, but it, it's it's pretty much probably just, um, you know, it's what it is. They have to survive, so they, they want us spending more money in-game. Here on the channel, we pretty much, um, you know, I try to show you guys free-to-play, and I play for free. I, I do not spend money on the game, all right, but, um, or on any of the games that we play, as a matter of fact. Not at this point. Maybe, maybe later on when, um, when you know if my, my, my start making re revenue from youtube and we start um getting a lot of views on a particular game or whatnot and then it's heavily requested that okay you know i, I want to see what some of the more exclusive stuff look like then probably will take it there all right but anyways um i'm getting long-winded on the intro so this it we are preparing for turf war january 12th all right 2018 uh the first event is gonna this is one of the cars here the first event is going to be b class all wheel drive you guys could come in click on the news click on events and um one of the things that i like they you used to have to wait until the actual day of turf before you know what the events were but now at the beginning of every week every uh sunday they release to you what the upcoming races are so the first event b b class all wheel drive second event c-class honda which we are going to use or honda from last week um, it is a c-class and then uh eight class jdm and so for that one we're going to use actually our um toyota supra which we were prepping for jdm last week and then we never really got around to it um all right so so on your screen is a b-class car here i am tuning um because of the time crunch and kind of like just been a busy week, you know, back to school and, and just getting reacclimated with the new year and everything. Um, I wanted to make two cars, but instead two things are going to happen. Um, I'm only going to do one car pretty much for each class. I might end up, might end up by the time Turf War starts, I might have extra cars to drive. But as far as working on a Jack in the Middle tune, you know, world class world record chasing two four turf wars um i'm tuning one car for each class all right and um at this point it's really i have two we have two extra cars already which is the honda and the toyota supra but um i am working on two cars for uh for b class all-wheel drive so this one here on your screen and i'll tell you what i'm doing what's so different I'm not just throwing a tune on there. I'm going through in the upgrade menu and I'm actually picking parts that um are not so that that are less they're, they're probably not the best part for the car as far as the power is concerned. They're, they're not getting the most power. However, it's the best part as far as um engine damage is concerned. So I'm going through and I'm picking parts that will give the car less engine damage so um so let's see here what what we just got on there to say okay so something just happened in the intake let's check the intake all right so intake b for example or intake c would give us more power 1.5 um more horsepower here if we went with intake c which is normally this the the standard if you're going max upgrade but since we're doing a lobby tune i'm going for intake a which is going to give me, if, if you guys compare it, it's 10%, point, um, point 0.10 less engine damage than this upgrade would be, and it's point 
10 less damage than this upgrade would be so i'm going for less engine damage and and hoping that in the end it actually gives us a better running car for turf meaning more 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 passes before the car breaks and hopefully even more horsepower on the car for that lobby tune even though it's not using what would be considered the optimal parts so that's what i'm going through here with tuning these cars i'm tuning this car here and we are tuning the subaru impressor wrx um, and i'm hoping to get these car to 1650 so i'm going through same thing going through and i'm actually these car and the reason i'm taking the chance with these cars because these cars are my collectible cars i, I there's no chance i'm going to pink these cars so i figured these are the cars i could do experimental prototype tunes on right now uh, so even if the tune turns out to be not the greatest tune later on down the road when uh, we're trying to tune other cars um, other similar cars will have all these parts extra parts on our collectible car that will help us decide for the uh, new car that we're trying to um, upgrade where we want to what direction we want to take it it's kind of like our ford focus that we used for last week's turf which i actually used another ford focus that was max tuned that's supposed to be my collectible car and i went through that car figuring out what was the best upgrades for that car so when it was time to build that car i went straight to the parts and i knew exactly what i was doing speaking of which i'm going to take you guys to that right now i told you guys it was a secret tune but i'm going to share it with you guys today i still not have i still have not claimed the world record on for that tune yet i still I'm, i haven't i'm in 9.7 but not very close to what the world record run is so let's hop on that car and i will i will show you that tune i have way too many cars in the garage okay so here we are the ford focus titanium so i'm just going to take you guys through show you exactly what i did to come up with this 1650 tune and um i hope you guys like it i hope you guys are able to chase the world record with this tune here um so starting we have all the body parts on so we have the front bumper install rear bumper install there's no oh yeah there's no hood for this car we have the two gem this the, the trunk is going to cost you two gems and i don't think there's a spoiler for this car no all right now um trust me you're going to need to do all these parts to get this upgrade as i have done it now, of course you could you don't have to go with my options you could you could try your own thing i have seen cars with 1650 with zero body parts or whatever the case is you know they went about it a little bit different anyways continuing we have pro a um installed on the suspension and again you're going to have to make it pro a in order for the upgrade to work properly uh, you could test it for yourself you could you could play around with the parts and see what comes out with the tires um i believe on the tires we are doing right nt01 i experimented with another um with a, a, another car that our collectible car so nt01 is the is the max tires that's going to work if you go to nt55r it's going to push it to 1651 um in the pipes we are doing pipe b pipe b all right so um actually so i'm sorry so it's cat cat b pipe b and then header b all right um throttle body c intake kit c intake manifold we stopped at stage two b on the connecting rods two on the cam gear c on the valve kit b on the camshaft c on the pistons i think i skipped crankshaft 
So B on the crankshaft. I'm sorry about that. Displacement C. Engine head A. And B for the fuel system. Now you guys can tell from this car. This car was um, not done in the way I'm doing the upgrades now. So A on the transmission. The way I'm doing the upgrades now, I am picking car parts that give minimal damage. This was not the case for the Ford Focus Titanium. Uh, C on the differential. Clutch C. Flywheel B. And again, you're going to need to add this as it is here um, to make the tune work best for you. It is uh, A on the axle. Turbo C. Turbo up pipe C. Turbocharger C. Blow off. A turbo downpipe C and turbo piping C on the NOS is going to be NOS core A, I believe. Yes, and bottle is two, I believe, and two on the bottle, and then um, weight reduction. Program.